Hello, it's Sarah, and look what I've been up to. I've been doing some wood burning, and it's brand new to me, so FYI, I've never done this before. I just happened to see it on my Facebook page. It had um, a Stampington and Company, which is a magazine, and there were, on the cover, it says wood burning all in one kit. And so, of course, I just Googled it and Pinterest and all that. And I thought, well, I got to try this. So I had a 50% off coupon. And I ended up getting this. This is the Creative Versatool. And it's by Walnut Hollow. Most of the products for wood burning are by Walnut Hollow. And this is at Michael's. And I had a 50% off coupon. And the reason I chose this one is because it comes with this cool box which you don't, I mean look, there's like a centimeter ruler on it, a regular ruler, it has all these pieces that you can make cubbies with, so even for beads or anything it was a useful thing, but then you also get all these bits, and so of course I, you know, I wanted to be able to do the most that I could do, but it turns out this isn't only for wood burning, you can actually do, well, let's see, the, the, the universal point is on the gun now and it's heating up so I'm just going to let that sit and it comes with a stand so I have it sitting on the stand and then this one has uh, the power source is kind of on the cord here it's a bit awkward um, but the next step up would have been just too much money for a beginner who I because I mean some of the artwork that you see that can be done with this is amazing but this was hard it looks very easy it wasn't hard don't get me wrong I managed but um anywho let me get back to what you get so in this kit you get this the whole the cord and the iron and you get about let's see two you get three shape bits so this one I'm going to use this one in a minute because I haven't used any of these this is a bullseye I'm going to use that on the piece I do today and these are just little, I don't know, they're shapes. They're not, they're just shapes. Then you get this one. This one's called the transfer point, and it says it transfers color and black and white laser copy images onto a variety of surfaces. So it's like heat transfer. Never tried that. Um, this one I haven't tried either, and I want to try this today. It's called a shading point, but it's shaped like a leaf. And I want to heat it up and see if I can actually just make leaves going down a... Um, a vine you know let's see it says that it creates beautiful side shading and large area shading with a very light touch haven't tried that one yet now I tried these three this one's called the calligraphy point I couldn't get it to do anything now that being said I only have these two forms of wood that I've tried these are dollar store I got ten of these flower shapes for a dollar so I've just been playing with those. And then I got these are from my grocery store, the Acme, and it's basically wood spoons for $1.99, a set of three. And it doesn't say what kind of wood it is. So that my husband said this could be oak. I mean, I don't know because they burn differently. This one is much softer, so I'm assuming pine or whatever. Uh, I don't know. And I know that there's a difference when it comes to the wood. Um, sappy woods are probably not the best, so pine is probably not a good choice. But uh, hey, I'm using what I have. Uh, but the calligraphy point, I couldn't get it to do anything. But I can imagine it would be beautiful if you could actually get that to do what you wanted it to do. I used this one. This one's called the flow point. And it says it wood burns, curves, dots, dot shading, and cursive writing. I couldn't get it. Maybe my gun doesn't even go up hot enough. I'm not sure. All I got it to do, I did get it to do these big dots. And then I came back after um, I used the universal one and went back around the center and tried to just do shading stuff. And I don't know. I, I, I was just playing around. What else did I do with this? Oh, these. Like, it's just like a bullet tip. And I just... Uh, I kind of swooped in and made these. I was seeing if I could do shading with it. But when you touch it down, it burns hotter and then it lifts off. So anyway, it was fun to play. And then this little tip 
This is called the tapered point. It says it cuts intricate designs with ease in multiple surfaces. So you can probably do, this is what you might use to cut stencils, I'm assuming, but it's very pointy. And I just made these little tiny, where are they? This one. These tiny dots that I put around this flower, I did with that. So those were the ones I tried. It also comes with the soldering stuff. So you get this little coil of solder and a soldering tip. So that's basically a soldering iron. And then this is the hot knife. So um, haven't tried any of this stuff yet. But so for the price, basically 15 bucks I paid for this because it was all, I had a 50% off coupon, regularly 30. So you can't beat that, right? Um, and I love that it has a case that I can keep it all neatly. And I think I'm gonna just try those two nibs today. And it came with this directions, not much. I should really go to walnuthollow.com. I think there's probably a little bit more information. But it says image transferring, okay, hot knife cutting. So it says great for carving foam pumpkins. Trim sheets of unmatted rubber stamps. Ooh, okay. Um, and it says the slower you move the knife, the easier it will cut. Wood burning, light pressure is best. The longer the point remains on the surface, the darker the wood burning will become. And practice with unfamiliar points before starting your, pr well, that's what I did. Uh, image transfer, stencil cutting, and soldering. Paper crafting, hot stamping, and fabric embossing. So, you know, it's a versatile tool. That's why they called it Versatool. And all I've really tried is the uh, wood burning so far. So let's see. All right, so for today, I've already done these. And you can see, like, let's go to this one. Of course, I went to Pinterest and looked at all the different things. Um, yeah, I mean, it did it. I ended up with this universal, tool, and it's so, like, look, I'm burning it up. I'm probably way too hot. But before, it wouldn't burn. Let me use my scrap wood. It's nice and hot now. But look, it's like butter on that. If I hold it there, it really makes a nice burn. But let's go to my, I just started this one before, but then I it, I didn't think this was hot enough. So let's go down this. I'll zoom it. Am I zoomed? Yeah. Let's go down the stem again now that it's nice and hot. And it's not the same result that I get on that dollar store wood. Although, no, that's much better now. Seems to be. And I like to pull toward me. It seems like that's my... Oh. So you kind of have to use the whole... Oh, I like that. When you touch the back of the um, bit down. See, it's like a... I'm not going to touch it. I'll burn myself. But this this is nice and hot now. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So hopefully I'm in the shot. But I'm going to do it. I wanted to create something that was mostly straight lines because that's the beginner in me. I don't want to I want to be successful. And I have pencil. This is just pencil on here so I can erase all this after. But so far so good. I think pulling toward me is actually my preference but the spoon is also rounded um, or bowed I should say or maybe concave so you have to kind of oh pivot and adjust but my husband was pretty impressed um, look, I'm a color girl. I like color, and I think when you're using these wooden, when you're doing it on a wooden spoon, they suggest food coloring so that it's not toxic. And you can, you know, because you can use these. I was just thinking it would be cute to bring to Thanksgiving to my cousin's house, and she can just sit them in on her counter in her little, um, Although I don't know, even know if she has a, a, a utensil caddy up on her counter. But I thought it would just be cute to have a little bit of artwork up there, right? In your utensil cup. Oh, I went out. Okay, good. 
So that wasn't too hard, right? And you can, oh, I'm out of the shot, but you can see it. I'm saving that for the other bit, but let's try and do this leaf gently. I want to do a rounded, and it's a little harder. And I'm really using quite a bit of pressure as well because uh, I like it dark. And I'm just coming back now and kind of um, touching up where I don't feel like it's as dark as I'd like. And then what else could we do? Mm, I know. I think I'm going to do a couple of... Maybe I should, let me put this one. This is the stand. It's just a very basic stand, and they actually suggest that you tape it down to your surface so your gun doesn't move, but I've been pretty good. It's, it's, whoop, see, it just fell. <laughs> All right. Um, I was thinking of putting some, a couple of lines here with dots. Yeah, I think that's going to look pretty. So I'll end up coming back with the dotting tool. I'm going to call it a dotting tool. But I think this will look pretty. Sorry, I'm probably totally out of the shot. What do you think of that? I think that looks cool. The, the one thing... Hi, Kiwi. Mm, you're such a good girl. Um, the one thing about having one iron, and this is... I know the more advanced sets have like a little oven thing, right? And it has two, you can have two heat sources at, going at a time. And I just think that um, that way you can have two uh, bits at a time. So you know what, I'm going to, um, let's just go right in and do this. I don't want to overdo it. Maybe, no, I think I'm going to do two. Am I in the shot? So I'll um, go away and put the other bit on there. I'm going to use the bullseye for the center because that's a fairly small circle and to do that, it's a bit tricky. I mean, I could probably use this tool and go around. But I think that tool should just really do it for me and look nice. But this is actually working much better than yesterday. And I have a feeling it just has to do with, I didn't have it hot enough. Maybe this type of wood needs a hotter temperature to <sighs> see I pushed down a little hard but I kind of like when you push down like if I go here and push down it really makes a nice dark line this is turning out cute I actually like this <sighs> I don't know why I was so frustrated um, yesterday. So let me set this down. Um, I think I'm going to turn this heat source off. So you just turn it all the way to this point and it clicks. And then they say to remove the bit or the tip with uh, pliers. So I've been doing that as well. And I also have just been using my, uh, <laughs> my rag as you can see, because I'm crazy. Like, I I will get burned because I don't follow the rules. I'm impatient. And, you know, I want to keep working on it. So, I did do these hearts yesterday. Um, let's see if I have any tracing lines. I think we're good. And, you know, so coming around, I probably could have touched it up just now because I think, I think having that nice and hot is the way to go. And then this one, I mean, this was just me taking this tip. 
when it's I know it's cooling now and just kind of going like this and it's almost just burning the little um, uh, I guess there are fibers almost of the wood so that's what kind of gave it that little scratchy look and then I really tried to get this super dark so there's definitely a learning curve but for a quick and easy cute different I mean there's so much you could do I really wanted to do something intricate you know me I go full force um, right off the bat oops I don't I don't mess around I want to <laughs> I want to be professional right away but these two let's see these two turned out pretty cute this I like this technique of just putting a lot of lines next to each other that's kind of a cool look and then I tried to do it here just with like and try to make it look like a shading type thing I think no I might just I might use the um see this is just a bullseye I could put a bullseye but nah I don't need it I don't need it oh here's what I did the little dots with on here like stippling so anywho I'll be back when when the other bit is heated up so this is on the red again and boy this is really getting hot like you can see the hot on there I put the bullseye in so let's see what that's if it's hot enough yet oh yeah look at that oh it didn't take all of it see it's not ready yet I'm gonna set it back in the heater and after I erased all my tracing lines I kind of like the way it looks without the center so this is pretty much done I'm just gonna leave this one I have like six more um, let's see one two three yeah six more spoons here I bought three packs of these um, and I'm just I like the way that looks without having put a circle in the middle I like it so I'm just going to leave that. <clears throat> That's a set of three right there. And then I've already started to, and of course I saw these on Pinterest or somewhere. Let's see. Uh, it could have been Google or Pinterest. I think I want to move this line over a little. Right to the edge. I just made a collar for a cat. I mean... It has this point, and I think that's what the person who initially did it on um, kind of and designing it, you have that ear shape there. So they put this, and then I just added the collar and the, um, the, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It's so small, but I wanted to put something else. I could have just made the face bigger. Who knows? And then this one I liked. It's just another flower. Um, kind of mishmash but look at that it has like a knot or the wood is a different color there it's not a knot but um, so I am gonna keep playing with this let's see if this is getting there yet Ooh, wow now we're good um, let's see what I could put on any of mine See, it's not really easy that's what I mean like you really have to sit it in there okay if you put some pressure look that one really turned out good I kind of want to put it on something but I don't want to put it here I think it'll screw it up it's just not right for that design um, I'm just gonna put it Oh, what the hell let me get another uh... yeah I mean once this nib is heated up I kind of want to use it now you know I don't know where my other flowers are at the moment so I'll just I'll just call it a day you know which one we didn't try was that leaf shaped one I should have heated that up after I decided that I didn't want to use this but that's pretty cool I like it alright you guys that's it 
So this was my little wood burning share. I'm going to keep playing and if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. All right? Thanks for watching.